I'm going to tell them your full name, where you work, and your mom's address. Oh, that last one is just... <laughs> <laughs> Hey you guys, my name is Cisco and welcome to the channel. Now I put out a video a couple weeks ago of uh, the rap cipher that uh, I called my friend out on and we were just trying to have a little bit of fun, but this video is going to be more of an introduction. So my YouTube channel has been around since about 2008 and I used to upload pretty consistently between 2009 and 2010, but since then I've kind of fallen off and I want to get started back into it. I really have a lot of ideas going around of things that I would like to do and I just kind of want to have an outlet for it. So I have different video ideas of things that I want to do, like I want to try and improve my rap skills and do like weekly 16s or maybe like uh, every couple of weeks do uh, like a weekly 16, would it be a bi-weekly 16? I kind of want to do reaction videos and kind of like rant vlogs as well, so who knows, I may do uh, a cover every so often as well. It's on the board. But getting started into this video, um, I'm going to answer 10 questions about myself, so let's get into it. So I found these 10 questions on the website, I'll put it in the link below. If you want to go ahead and do the video yourself, you can um, go to the link. All right, so these are pretty generic questions. Uh, let's get into it. Question number one, what is your favorite color? And it's Kalur, uh, C-O-L-O-U-R. Uh, I am partial to blue, but I have been enjoying gray, black, um, really dark colors. Um, I don't know, I just kind of like the style. Uh, I wear red every so often, um, but normally, yeah, something like black or blue is what I'm wearing. If you could be any celebrity, who would it be? Hmm. Um, oof. Honestly, I don't know if I'd want to be like a mainstream, like traditional celebrity. Um, like, it feels like they're really restricted on what they can and can't do in life, just because they're constantly being followed around. Uh, someone that I really admire and look up to would be Timothy DeLaghetto. He's really cool. Uh, he started off on YouTube, uh, used it as like a platform to get him into mainstream media, and he's fairly well known. He's doing really well, I would assume. Um, but it looks like he's having a lot of fun. He's always doing something new and interesting, and that's kind of where I want to be in life. Number three, where do you see yourself in the future? Hmm, how far into the future? Um, I do see myself being married. I am engaged right now. Um, potentially having kids. Um, who knows? Uh, I would like to be in a bigger house with a better backyard and better neighbors. <laughs> Honestly, life is a journey and I try to concentrate on what's directly in front of me and the foreseeable future, maybe like a year out. But I never really contemplate too hard on like five or 10 years from now. Um, all I know is I want to just keep progressing in life, um, do what I love to do, and you know, just be happy. That's the main goal. Question number four, three words that describe yourself. Oof, um, I'd say chill would be one word. Uh, I am normally really relaxed and I try not to stress about too many things, even though life is stressful, of course, but I would like to concentrate on the better things that I have in life and things that are going on. And anything that is stressful eventually will go away. Word number two would be funny. Um, not saying that I think that I'm a funny guy. Uh, I just like to have fun and I do enjoy comedy a lot. So you'll always find me uh, like making a joke out of something or trying to be funny or, you know, just enjoying the vibe with whoever I'm with. <laughs> word number three, I can't think of another word. Word number three. I guess the word number three would be dependable. Uh, anybody that I know that I care about that's a friend of mine or family member, um, I will go through thick and thin for, I will do anything for them. Uh, like if they're in trouble or if they need a little bit of help, I got their backs no matter what. <laughs> All right, question number five is three words that would describe your school. Okay, uh, not in school. <laughs> I 
I graduated back in 2009 and I tried to go to school right after, but a combination of me being lazy and uh, things that happened in my life, uh, I chose not to go, at least after a couple complications that I had in trying to go uh, to college. But not saying that uh, that's a lost dream. I would definitely like to go back and get my degree. Uh, when I was in college, I had a performing arts major. <laughs> Question number six is one misconception that others have of you. I'm honestly not sure. Um, I try not to think about what other people think about me. Um, in high school, that used to be like a thing. Honestly, I feel like all of these questions are for people that are in high school. But um, I'm at a point in my life where I don't really care what people think about me. Um, I'm normally concentrated on everything that is directly involved in my life, um, anything that I'm directly involved in, like uh, work or uh, my family or friends or any type of like project or something going on. Um, I am only concentrated on that, and um, if someone thinks like ill of me, huh? whatever, brush it off. <laughs> Question number seven is one regret. Ooh, dang, there's uh, there's quite a few of that one. That one's pretty deep. Um, honestly, even though I have quite a few regrets, I take them as like a learning lesson and I try to not make those same mistakes that I that I made previously. Um, so honestly, uh, the things that I regret and the mistakes that I've made in the past made me the person that I am today and I don't think I'd change any of that. On that note, it says to list one regret. Um, I regret not traveling when I got the chance to. Um, I had the opportunity to go to the Philippines a while back and um, I chose not to do it and there was a list of reasons why but uh, I'll go eventually. Number eight, uh, something materialistic that you want right now. Ooh, there's a lot of uh, wants right now. Um, I would like to get a really cool um, vlogging camera. Um, it's a Canon, I forget uh, what model it is, but it's the one, it's a newer version that has the flip down screen instead of the flip up screen. Right now I am on a Canon EOS Rebel T6. Um, it does really good um, uh, like tripod setups where uh, the camera isn't moving and it records really great footage but I would like something that has um, auto stabilization and auto focus um, while recording video um, so that's one thing um, I'd like to get a better computer setup uh, right now I am off a laptop right here I have it hooked up to a monitor so I can see everything but um, uh, yeah, uh, I would like to get a really good uh, desktop, um, specifically one for gaming. Like, it, if I could build one out, that'd be cool. I'm not really that good, and I'd have a lot of friends help me. But if I can get one that's pre-built, um, I would like to potentially get into like live streaming, like not live streaming, but recording like walkthroughs of video games that I would really like to play. Um, but uh, uh, on another note not playing video games it's still a really dope computer that you'd still be able to run every like program that you would need on number nine your greatest fear uh, now are we talking about like an actual like phobia or just something that you're afraid of happening if we're talking about phobias i really hate spiders if we're talking about something that i am just afraid of is kind of just losing all my friends and family um they are literally the world to me. Um, even friends that I haven't seen um, for years, uh, I would I would go like to the ends of the earth to try and help them out if they were to like hit me up like today right now. Um, someone that I haven't seen from high school uh, that I was really close to that I still feel that I'm really close to. I would I'd go out and help them, you know, no matter what. Um, same thing for my family. Um, my, I have plenty of cousins, aunties, uncles. Uh, all of my sisters and my parents, um, I do anything for. They all they need to do is call, and you know I'll help them out with whatever. Especially my fiance, um, she is the person that I want to spend my life with, and of course I provide her with everything. <laughs> Number ten, uh, two things you want to say to two different people. 
Mm. Number one would be the first best friend I made uh, in high school, uh, my homie Clarence. Uh, sorry that we haven't been able to hang out. I've been hella busy. Um, even doing this, I'm rushing it uh, so I can just try and get it edited and uploaded. But uh, we'll find time. You're still my homie, uh, still my brother. You know, I got your back no matter what. And sorry, I've been busy. <laughs> Number two, second person would be my fiance. Um, if you happen to watch this video, just know that I love you. And um, where we are at in our lives, uh, I have never been more grateful for anything. Uh, I have truly been blessed. Um, thank you for being a part of my life and spending uh, the years with me and uh, to forever more. <laughs> All right, guys, that was 10 questions about me. Hopefully I can edit it so it isn't you know such a long video uh, if you like the video uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, subscribe for more content I am going to try and get onto a schedule to make sure that I'm uploading at least every other week um, comment what you would like to see uh, below um, I'm down to do like uh, like reaction videos uh, I'm cooking right now I I'm honestly thinking about if I should do like tutorials on how to like make stuff covers I'm down for I can't say weekly 16s but I am trying to be better in rapping so um, I'm gonna try and do uh, like a series showing like my growth in that as well so let me know what you guys want to see um, thank you guys for watching like I said go ahead and hit the like button uh, and subscribe for more content follow me um, at all of my Twitter IGs and I'll see you guys later